Hi, I'm Victor. Welcome to Fractal Paradox. And today I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna show you how to make a shader that is gonna revolutionize the way you think about backgrounds. <laughs> okay, that, that's a little bit too much. But you can create some pretty, pretty gnarly stuff. Dr. Stone-like mirror dimensions and uh, repeating fractal-like moving geometry, crystals and diamonds in general, and a bunch of cool stuff with a simple, very effective little trick of rendering engines like cycles. So without further ado, let's get into the shader itself. And then I'm going to build a little scene uh, that you probably saw in the thumbnail around this uh, idea. So here's a cube. The cube has a light inside of it, basically. But uh, we're going to show you how I made the shader. So delete the default uh, shader and let's add a mix shader node. And already plugged it in. Add a transparent uh, node, transparent shader, straight into the tutorial, uh, and then we're gonna plug it in. If you, so, right now there's a sphere uh, inside it, and let's make it shade smooth. Shade smooth. Okay. So there's a sphere inside the cube, and the cube is half transparent and half uh, nothing, so half a dark void. So what we want to do is create first one of those like, uh, you know, those mirrors, those infinite mirrors uh, that you can do with uh, one sided mirrors. So like a, a false, uh, one of those like uh, interrogation room, false mirrors. Yeah, you can do this pretty easily on Blender, making one side of the face a mirror like subs, a mirror like, mirror like material and the other side completely transparent or glass or whatever so in this case i'm gonna add a shader a glass shader and also i'm gonna add a glossy shader you can see why in a minute so for now let's let the irs uh as glass because it doesn't matter that much but all of those to extreme completely white and then we duplicate that and mix the shade the glass shader and the glossy shader the reason why we're doing this and mixing the glass and glossy is because if you just plug in the glossy shader by itself uh, it works with the slider but it's not going to work with our trick because glossy makes the entire inside of the thing completely dark unless you are mixing it at a pretty decent ratio with the transparency thing that you see is working right here. And also the mix between glossy and glass, it's going to uh, have a, like a, a more interesting effect. If you uh, want to preserve your render times, you might be okay if you just plug in the glass, the glossy shader, but for now, we're leaving the mixture between glossy and glass because it's gonna give you give us more uh, options of what things to do with uh, whatever we're creating here. So you can see already that the shader is starting to uh, take form. If you plug just the glossy, you can see that there's uh, now almost infinite copies of the spheres reflected by all sides. And this is the basic effect, right? Uh, in a cube, you see a grid, and in not in you can start exploring exploring this with uh, other geometries. So you got weird, interesting reflections from all sides. And I'm playing a lot of clips, probably, of my other exploitations of similar shaders. But the trick that I wanted to show you is how to make one of those uh, one-way mirrors. I finally remembered what the the uh, term was. So. Let's add an uh, input geometry node, and then we can use the back facing output as a factor. So basically, the back facing output is, is uh, an output that's gonna be black on the outside and white on the inside. So, for right now, it's completely transparent on the inside and completely glossy on the outside, and we want to swap that. So it's completely glossy on the inside and completely transparent on the outside and you can see that doesn't work in fact because of the completely glossy inside the inside is completely dark that's why we 
uh, mixed the glass and glossy so that oops I swapped the wrong thing so that in the inside we would have uh, the the transparency would actually matter so what was I doing yeah so that's why we mix the glossy and glass if you put 100% glossy you can see that it starts to kind of fade away but there is a better like way to uh, to do this and you can use like a mix RGB on this and if you mix this with black then the if you look at the like view the insides also getting a little bit more transparent it's getting a little darker which means the mask is gonna mix a little bit of transparency into the inside as well and that's that helps generally to clean up things a little bit more and as a final thing we can duplicate this mix shader plug the transparent right here and add a input light path node because I love the, I love this node and then we can use ray depth with a math node in between greater than that's gonna be your mask and then we can plug that in into the surface and now every everything that is greater than this threshold is gonna be completely transparent so if you add if you increase the threshold you're gonna get more reflections and you can even do one uh, uh, that like interstellar uh, effect where you, you're gonna add more and more folds over time by increasing this threshold so if you put a hundred or something it's gonna give you as many reflections as the as your uh, light uh, bounces as your light bounces allow so let me just organize this a little bit put this on the top and then we can play around with the, the shader like uh, factor, uh, factors here you can do it completely glass completely uh, glossy because we are mixing this if you don't mix this it's gonna be black so even a tiny little bit helps if you want to go to a completely glossy route right so this way it's a little bit of transparency seeping into the uh, the the surface the internal surface and basically that's gonna reflect your outside uh your outside hdri as well so if you swap it you get like different lighting conditions i generally like more darker uh less uh, with darker scenes with darker hdris with less things to reflect but you can have some pretty nice uh reflections you can add like whatever your sky texture you want but the interesting thing is if you put the camera inside now you're inside like a sort of fractal like uh, plane of existence where things repeat indefinitely so for example let me just increase the, the, the like the field of view of this camera now we have like a moving sphere that whenever you move it like repeats and i forgot i had added the light here so let's move this light as well so what is actually interesting about this you might ask well besides the fact that you have this infinite mirror effect is that when whatever geometry you apply this shader to and also i forgot to mention sometimes it's cool to have a little bit of fun with this mix value or this mix value using textures so for example if i add a noise texture or a musgrave texture or like a wave texture whatever let's add like a noise texture and we change and you plug this in or this in now it's gonna mix between those things based on the texture and it's gonna give us a completely different effect in this case it's not great because it's also 
converter color ramp right remember to always use color ramps with the noise more detail a little bit more scale for example this noise is mixing between the glossy and glass so if you remove that do all glass or all um, like half on half and plug that into here instead now you have like noisy reflections I had something very interesting I guess this is like more of a oh yeah it's supposed to be more mostly white mostly black sorry so you can add a little bit of like noise into the uh, transparency thing so you have like a little bit more interesting uh, background and if you decrease that a little bit as well yeah and now you have noise that you don't even know where it's coming from and it just adds a little bit of extra detail and you can always like change the noise type change this or this like this is cool look at this in any case uh this is the basic shader you can start forming interesting things right away look at this this looks like a like a magical magic crystal and if i add a modifier like a subsurf sub 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 modifier to the cube yeah and then you can start like having new and new um, a bunch of new ideas of what to do with those like this like fractal like uh repeating patterns that the mirrors cause and then you can start like exploring geometry uh shapes that work better the only thing that doesn't work very well right now is the distance uh like if you use something like mist or depth to kind of create this like layering effect so the later uh, parts don't get too overwhelming and everything doesn't uh, become like just a bunch of noise it's a little bit hard to deal with the separation from foreground to background when it's just reflections and technically it's a single scale right but what you can do with that is you the way you can do that you can use uh, ray depth so if you put your camera here and get the ray depth or ray length also actually ray length output it's gonna give you like a gradient convert color ramp and for example you can make that uh, mix shader in itself and mix it with the diffuse shader for example so the closer it is to the camera uh, the less diffuse it is the l further away it is from the camera the more well the less reflective it is and then you get very cool things like this like spider web kind of effect and then you scale it becomes more reflective and you scale down and becomes less and you can invert this as well but but then it's it just loses all reflectivity anyway there's million a million millions like infinite possibilities that's why i named it infinite possibilities the this is a cool like crystal shader mm, look at this i just created this i i have no idea you could do this look at this Ooh. that's very cool actually now if you had like you can move through this space until a point of, of course and this is just reflections it is not like a geometry nodes thing if i get the camera <laughs>
Okay, that was, uh, trash. Fine, I'll do it the right way. Anyway, that's the shader and the things you can do with it. I'm sorry, this tutorial is like 400 years long and most of the time the audio is set up incorrectly, but I'm running out of time. Anyway, there's a Gumroad link in the description if you want DSSX shader for some reason and doesn't want to like set up like five nodes. Uh, yeah, it's everything I have loaded down there is zero plus. So if you want to throw me some dollars, I would appreciate it. But if not, you can just get it for free. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's been fun. Bye.